Alright, we are going to try connecting now and see if everything rocks and rolls. Always let it load up a little bit before I get truly started, but we will have to see if everything just works properly as it's supposed to. We won't know until I get confirmation that it's receiving the content. Hope you're all having a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever it may be, wherever you may be. Um, my day's not been too shabby. Both of my girls are in school at the current moment, so they're probably definitely enjoying some learning and fun, for sure, for sure. I've not seen anything yet. There it goes. Now it's got at least giving me a confirmation that it's receiving the content. That took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but it's all good. It's all good. I can't uh, harp on technology sometimes. Let me go ahead and pull up the stream itself on my end. That way I can see everything going on and make sure it's, you know, running properly. Sounds like it's running properly. Alrighty, hopefully you're all having a great day, night, evening. Like I said, we said all this earlier, but I'm just saying it again in case you didn't hear me earlier. Let's pull up that, put it right there. We are ready to rock and roll. If you guys are ready for more shiny hunting, I am definitely super excited to get this going again. Obviously, you can see this is literally where we last left off. I kept my chain going, kept everything rocking and rolling, even though it's been since last Wednesday, so we're almost going on seven days since the last time we streamed this. But luckily I kept everything safe and everything. Let's see if we get any shinies today. As you see, we have a chain of Rattatas, but we do have a shiny Rattata. That is the one up in the top corner there. Uh, so we're just going to keep chaining, and I'm going to wait for a spawn, though, because I don't think we have spawned since the uh, chain here. There it goes. Yeah, we're going to just pretty much go for a couple hours here, about maybe uh, roughly just probably right about three hours today. So, good long stream session. Probably have some longer ones later down the road, but we had some technological issues this morning that we had to conquer. My dock, for whatever reason, was not switch sensing my switch, so I had to find my old dock in order to uh, get everything to work. And now, as you can see, everything is working and rolling, and eventually we'll get back to my stream setup and everything like that, where we'll have the mics and all the good glorious stuff, so definitely be excited for that when we get all that rocking again. Like I said, probably be within the next month or so that we'll have all that reset back up with my mic and um, all the whatever proper lighting and good stuff. Also going to, because I know last stream we had some issues with the green screen. I'm watching it now on the playback. It doesn't look like because of the dark shirt. That's why I wore the dark shirt today. But the green screen's been affected. It's also really nice out tonight. It's about 80 something degrees out tonight. So definitely going to probably enjoy the weather later today. I'm also cooking up some dinner here in a little bit as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a good day. We have officially a chain of 100 rats. We have a super large infestation. These are the two we're technically shiny hunting for, the Pigeon, the Bellsprout, and Rattata of the next stupid spawn. It's all good. We're officially going to go on a catch count over 100. I think the only other prediction someone said was 115, I think is what their guess was. And that's the only other guess I remember seeing in the comment sections and stream chat and all that from yesterday. So we are still shy of the biggest guess that I saw. I guess 69. We got our first shiny within 40 or so. Um, is this my Rattata? I'm pretty sure this is my... Yeah, it's my Rattata. This is the shiny we actually got last stream. Uh, we definitely want a uh, super thing. I'm going to get rid of Tackle for now. In case you guys don't know how this works, we are literally only allowed to stay on this route. We cannot go anywhere else until we catch all the shinies on said route. Now, the only reason we can exit the route is to buy more Pokeballs, things like that. Um, and we can only use said shinies to progress in the game. So, we literally technically only have the Rattata on our team right now. Now, dang it. Let's see if we also have any Pokeball throwing issues. I did not grab a controller like I said I was going to last time, but you know what? It's alright. We rock, we roll. Keep the chain gathering. Will we get a shiny today? I don't know, honestly. But I'm really hoping in the three hours we have here today, we get a shiny something. 
Now, there's a high chance we get another shiny rat. Luckily, though, if we do run into a shiny rat, we can still catch it because it goes toward the chain. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be an instance where we see a shiny and it doesn't go toward our chain, chain and we just have to say bye-bye because um, we don't want our chains to break. I don't I don't care, you know, if the shiny seems like the greatest thing since sliced bread. I would rather keep my chain and get new shinies for the completion of this to move forward. And like I said, our objective is to get every single shiny in this game. And then once we have completed this, we'll go to Let's Go Pikachu and do the exact same, just with the exclusives though on that game, so it'll be a little bit harder. Uh, kind of similar our concept would probably go a little bit faster because there's going to be less Pokemon to hunt. But because of our limited selection, we're only going to be able to shiny hunt so much. Because I think, like, Route 1, I know it's, I know it's like Oddish, Sandshrew, um, that was a terrible throw. I forget what other ones are. I have it on my uh, phone, the, like, regional exclusives. There's only select ones. And there's, I think there's, like, the Alolan traits are also part of that mix that have uh, game exclusives. I think that, honestly, would be our longest hunt, would be the regional variants. And I don't know what's the best way to do that, as of right now in my head. Um, part of me is like, oh, I'll have a chain of 32 going, and just hope that you don't see any other spawns when you go to the next egg look at. But I think once you hatch that egg, the chain breaks. Now, if your chain keeps going, then I can see where, okay, we'll go catch another one, continue to chain, go back and hatch another egg type of a deal. But otherwise, it might be just the fastest just to gather a bunch of eggs and let them, let them break type of a deal. Because I think that's going to be probably the only, if we can't find a way around it, other than I think the lure would be the only one that maybe could increase the encounter rate. Uh, that might be the only one where we have some full odds in the mix. I will eventually be naming all these Pokemon, and you can name them after subscribers, people that interact with us on social media and all that type of stuff, uh, people that comment in the comment section, all that great stuff. So if you ever do that, you are definitely having a high chance to uh, be nicknamed um, at any point. So these are all a bunch of rats. Other than streaming this, my other plans for the day is I have to take my eldest daughter. Um, she's got some after-school activities, we'll just call it that. But yes, we're pretty loaded for the evening tonight. We got some swimming, we got some gymnastics, we got speech class, we got I don't even know what else. What's over there? Nope. You're just a regular purple rat. Um, obviously, they have to eat dinner, they have to bedtime. Speech for an hour, gymnastics for 30 minutes, swim for 30 minutes, and uh, food eating probably over 30 minutes. I did kind of watch my pokeball count because I have not actually been paying attention to that. The next spawn. At least we also debunked the whole, like, differences between throws also last time, too, so we got all that figured out that it doesn't really matter how we throw these balls as long as we're catching, that's all that matters. Might keep the trades for the end. So I'll think, ooh, actually, I'll probably have to keep some Rattatas. I just thought about that because there's a little one Rattata. I might have to keep some Rattatas to trade eventually down the road. Um... So once we are off the chain of Rattatas, we might have to end up keeping some of these. Even though it'd be money from the candies, I think I need them to trade for the Alolan. Because I don't know if it saves state beforehand. I don't remember how that all works. It's been a, been a hot minute since I've dabbled in the, any of this. But they also could be the end of the game stuff we do is those, those trades. So I think the only ones I can think of that are full odds are those and the Arcanine. 
uh, trade for catching ten meows or whatever it is. Are the full odds be shining me? So we need to scrap. It wants you. At least not until you sparkle for me, then I want you. We also said that Bellsprout would be the better shiny to get next, only because having a chain of Pidgeys going into the next route, knowing that there's Pidgeys in those future routes, means that we can potentially have a chain going forward for, say, the Nidoran hunt or the Caterpie and Needle hunt, depending on which route we go for next. Meanwhile, our current Rattata, level 16. Are we learning to fight or is he level 12 learning to fight? Because, yeah, it's level 12. It looks like he's going to be learning to fight right now. Alright, we're not 111 rats. So, bloody little Digi, you're not shiny. Just making sure I'm waiting for a spawn to pop up here. I don't know if that Digi was already there. So, it used to be with. When I do this, I just stand right here and let them despawn and spawn, despawn and spawn. But then, like I said, I know that they tested the algorithm with this, or whatever you call it, to where it's just whatever spawns next has that increased odds. It's not necessarily always there. It's not a permanent increased odds at all times. I know today, I think today, today, yes, today's tax day too, which we already did our taxes and all that fun stuff. It was a fun time. But I know uh, downtown they're doing a free uh, snow cones tax day. And I thought about going over there for just a free snow cone, but I also see them a lot because they always hang out around my work. So it's not like I couldn't get a I know it'll probably be free, but it's there. Just to make sure that Pidgey wasn't shiny. We have both the Pokemon that we need. I mean, like I said, I'll, I'll take either one. I mean, I'll take any shiny at this point. I mean, obviously, Rattata will be like, oh man, like, why is my shiny chance going to the shiny I already got? But I can't be fully upset because it would technically still go toward my chain. But yeah, I mean, ultimately, like I said, those probably would be the ideal. And then Pidgey is uh, the backup. But. I will still not ignore any shinies up here as of right now. Technically, all are on the table as of this moment. So we won't have a shiny fail guaranteed right now because we, we need all. We technically need all three at the current moment because we need the Rattatas to keep the chain going and Pidgey and Bellsprout are both hunting. Forward though, there's a Really high chance that fails some shinies. I'm not saying that there, there hasn't been possibly a shiny fail. There could be some random spawn up north right now that was a shiny that just despawned. So we're not, you know, checking the whole route. Why mm. doesn't just press a B and say no? <laughs> Alright, we are. Approaching the biggest guess that someone placed the last stream, which was 115. So, which will make us have officially 115. So, we will see after this spawn if there's any shinies. I will check the whole route just to get a little, you know, extra vigilant, just to give it a fair chance. Next spawn is a Rattata. He's checking the whole route. Let's see. It's a regular Pidgey. Nope. Not seeing nothing. I'm 
we'll see. Maybe by chance. It was just one off. They're Jeep. They're regular rats. I'm great at timing when he moves. I can't always excuse the fact when it doesn't sense my throw. But I feel like sometimes I'm throwing and that's right when they decide to do their little movement animation. If you guys also have any questions about anything we're doing throughout all this, definitely don't hesitate to ask. Always here to help and everything like that. The thing is, we can't even battle Brock until we get through Viridian Force as tons. My hope is to get Horas started as well at some point during this week. But I have to just get all the setup ready. I need all those cords and stuff to you know, bounce around. Yeah, one job would be shining right there. Top I still have the 3DS. Heck, they have a 3DS capture card. Yeah, let's go to the rat. The rat. When I said I was going to keep track of how many balls I had left, I didn't do that yet. I have zero right now. Other than one yet. Thirty-nine. Is that a pinch? That's it. Not all the tens. to pick me up. Also, I think I talked about last time, going to actually, like, research the odds. The like, idea yeah, that 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 happened to totally, the totally know the odds, man. Check it. Literally. I'm gonna go in my room. Whatever. I can use the phone. Use my phone. Use my phone. For like 10 seconds. Let's see here. Um, let's go. Shiny Mons. I need to know. I need to know. Don't leave me, you better say so. I need to go. Get rid of my stream for like 10 seconds. Alright, let's see here. Let's go ahead and run into another Pokemon really quick. Tab. Yeah, 
this. I need a chain monitor. I don't need to open it. Just give me the numbers. It's like you like look up a recipe, but it has like 15 pages before you get actually to the um thing. So whole odds is one in four thousand ninety-six. So that initially is the largest we would have to have one in four thousand ninety-six. Blurs, yes, the blur increases your thing. Patch combos, yes, yes, yes. With the blur and I think this is with the blur and a 31 time, there's one in 273. So those are the best odds, it's 1 in 273. That's not terrible, 1 in 273. That's with all the factors though, I might even be including the shiny charm. With a lure, it's one and two that lot. Just with the lure alone, it lowers it in half. That is insane. Catch combos. For just a chain, a 31. No lures or anything like that. Okay, so yeah, the guy that said the one and 273 is with lure and shiny charm. So I do not have I would not have the shiny charm. So right now our odds are 1 in 341, that is our current odds, 1 in 350, we'll just call that, makes it a little bit of a more rounder number. So yeah, shiny spray right now is 1 in 341, if we get a lure, then it's 1 in 315, so lure is about like 30. That point. And then, yeah, the rest of the shiny charms. To me, it's still best to keep a catch combo going, even if there possibly is some kind of whatever to it. Maybe there's no proof to it. I still swear they did a whole like algorithm test. Okay, I'll phone back. Done my research. So we're basically at what they say one in three hundred fifty right now. We already technically have found a shiny so I mean, it's every Pokemon at the spot. It's not like, oh, it's 350, that means I should have had a shiny. But yes, by true, like, odds, oh, you should have ran into it, but it doesn't mean this one is. Every single roll is a 1 in 350 chance.
me just say one out of three hundred. Because one of these popping up to be shiny. Pretty good. Rattata, I feel like I'm standing right on that Rattata, but apparently I was not standing right on that Rattata. What was that bro? Text and sure everything was okay. We both are tag teaming getting my daughters today because they both get up at three, so it's plenty of uh, making sure everybody's getting picked up and all that kind of stuff. Spawns. I didn't know if the other ones had already been there or not. Ah! And my arm just goes. Just like, no, I want to throw the ball. Let me throw the ball. Did we have one break out of the wall? I think we had. Too. I will say this now because I feel like it could be possibly slightly pointed out. I mean, it'd be just somebody that's like a really hardcore, weird something, I guess. I mean, I guess there's like, you know, everybody has a right to what they believe are the rules to things. But how that popped up, how it down for like a second there when I ran down. If I were to run into, say, Rattata runs into me south of Route 1. It's a different, it's still, it's still, it's still you know, having something down here isn't really different, because we're still thinking all the different Chinese things, so it's like, it doesn't really matter. It's just like a sound, I said, oh, you just said, what are we trout? You caught the shiny Pidgey on Pallet Town, what about the shiny Pidgey on Route 1? Doesn't matter, it checks it off for all the future routes. So like Rattata, we have Shiny Rattata right now, right? We don't ever have to get Shiny Rattata ever again. It's all checked off, he's never going to be acquired again. That also means, technically, once he evolves into Redicate, it also checks off all of the Redicate as well. We're not doing a full, like, Shiny Living Dex thing. It must have been just check something really quick. Yeah. I'm checking the friendship levels right now. Just trying the house reset method really quick. Didn't see anything. Very good. Just let it go once. At least try the house reset method once. Oh, yeah, actually. I'm 
plant's legs. Truthfully speaking, I got two shinies yesterday. I got a shiny Rattata, and I got a shiny uh, Shininja and Pokemon Go. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a shiny Lug on Spain yesterday, I don't know. So then we got to try... Since old streams, the rock clearing method either. I did, obviously, just did the house reset where you walk into any building um, and then come back out and see what the new spawns are. We have not done the rock clearing method. Pretty much just Garrett, where you go encounter all the other Pokemon that are not part of your chain, run away from them, where there's only like one spawn left. Like I said, I feel like the chain method is still the best method based on supposed research skills. Pages and bell sprouts, none of them are sparkly. Why are none of you guys sparkly? Go get them. The cousin you judge because, you know, he wears too much yellow makeup. Or whatever. <laughs> Rattata. So we're getting close to running out of balls, but we'll run across that bridge a later. So many Pidgeys, man. Not a single one. Sparkly. Honey balls. Obviously, once I get down to 10, that's where I'll go start hitting them. Something was it's 20 something is when Rose had other balls in the back. Too. My gut was to say 26 or 28, something around there. It's like super fang Marn and Rotatus here. Walking. Shoots! Yeah, wearing a shirt, right? Might as well shoot a basket. Feeling like I work today, but I don't. Hey. Oh, 
Post scrub. Here, rat. Down there. Over there. Woo! Well, I got the perfect throw. Moves. Super Fang! Edgy spawning. There's a rat. Right, start working north. We're officially under 10 balls left. First, we need to go to the blocks. All these are tents. Next transfer. Some, uh, I have more rats coming your way for investigation. When you get the Pokemon coming, don't test on rats. We just, you know, look at them. There's a Exactly. 60 Metallus, but I just transferred that. Mm 
Último do nome que nós estamos a Right into the town. I'm going to do this back. Go here. free ones. I did think about it after some, I know that if I were to be, say, sell 10 Premier Vault, then therefore I could buy one extra of you all. So that's where that, I knew there was some math where I could technically end up with more balls selling them back than using them. But really, is it really that drastically much? No. I really want to say a few Pokeballs balls at a time, I'm going to go ahead and check Spawn just to make sure since I don't want to spawn first. Like, obviously, if I sell 10 Premier Balls and I buy 10 Pokeballs, Balls, I get one extra one, so it's like I get 11 for selling 10. Um, so, I mean, yes, at mass quantities you can rack up to maybe where you can get up, you know, 10 plus Pokeballs Balls maybe sometimes, but again, not really gonna be that matterful. It seems like you're getting enough money back from all the candies and stuff. That we should be fine at any point in time with what we're doing here. Do your thing, do your bit of, bit of motion. I should mix on throw, I feel like, but you know what? It's okay. So if you can do there's not that much to do, I mean. Keep catching rats. I know also... I mean, it might be a later down the point. Well, I guess the legendary don't. Sweet. It's not. I'm just sure they don't. I think the only one that has a high catch rate that we have to mainly worry about would be like Dratini, because I know there's a way where we can, obviously, by adding another controller into the mix, it doubles our Pokeball uh, catching thing. So, like, say with Dratini, for example. I think it has a harder catch rate, so if we did run into a shiny or two, we'd add the player two to uh, give us a better chance of catching it, I guess. But I don't know if that will ever really be a factor. Let it spawn down here for a second. Kind of like hunting down here. Bit more than up there. Mm -hmm. 
great. There was a one part of me that was like, I oh, just transfer a lot of my shinies that I already have in Pokemon Let's Go to you by connecting but I don't think we can technically do that until we even get to Fuchsia anyway. So, even if we won that shortcut, we would have to wait till Fuchsia. <laughs> so, just really, uh, yeah, no problem there. Some bell sprouts, heck man, and a Pidgey. Not a single one chain. Rat. So many spawns there that were not Rotatas. That could have been, could have been the one, could have been the lucky one. Say, so I was trying to think about this. If, say, like running into them broke your chain, I think the only way to safely hunt in this game would be standing at the beginning of the round. also knowing just the lure only is going to lower it down by like maybe you know 30 encounters this is not like super drastic it was like a hundred and really be like maybe maybe i do just get the cerulean to you know, get the encounters but Three fifty to three fifteen with or without a water is not too disastrous. Shouldn't spawn too much up north there in that patch there. It shouldn't, I say that. But it lets me kind of see a bit of the, the route more so. Hi, Pigeon. Probably some hunts that are easier than the others. I mean, obviously, there's some of the, I mean, just the, the uh, reset ones, I mean, other than just being long, will be just, you know, pressing the button. But there are a few routes that are only like once, you know, one patch. 
like a one I think that's around Mount Moon area with that way. Might be two there. I think maybe that route to the right of the trainer might also be included in that route, I think. But either way, there are some smaller, uh, smaller, what's this called? Area that Shiny's gonna be appearing right now as we go around this. Tabas than there are Gen 1 for the month. We've got 153. It's even if they're like missing no and stuff in there, or just two random which fossils would be even with it. My shiny. Huh. You wanna explain it to me, sir? Excuse me, sir. You wanna explain it to me? Don't even die! Ah! Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But against rats, just um, not like a dog or a cat or no, even a cow. Shiny Star and Humming and Diamond and Pearl. That's awesome. Those are a freaking. Isn't that the one in 8,000 odds? Isn't the Gen 4 the higher you're doing VDSP, which would be the one in 4,000? Diamond and Pearl, I think, is the one in 8,000 odds. I did do, uh, what was it, Hard Gold, Soul Silver. I did Shiny Hunting of the Starters in those games back in the day. Yeah, that it, it's 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 kind of tedious. A, I mean, it's similar to these. You've got a lot more resetting. I mean, this one's a little bit longer, but I've been doing it since last Tuesday. Oof, it's a long, it's a long time. Even if you're saying you're doing it, you know, just here and there. Things that I mean, you're either one in eight thousand odds or you're one in four thousand odds. Either way, it's ridiculously high. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be hype once you get it. Which one are you going for? Are you going for Pipla, Chimchar, Turtwig? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna say it's Pipla, but I might be completely wrong. I'm just taking a shot in the dark and saying it's Pipla, knowing no information at all, anything at all. I'm just gonna say Pipla. Don't know why. Just, just the best, I guess. Turtwig, dang it! Dang it! I had a one out of three chance. I had a one out of three chance to guess that right. <laughs> <laughs> Turtwig's still really good, though. I like Turtwig. He's blue, isn't he? He's in like an off blue color. I don't remember. He's shiny. I don't know why I'm talking like I know Pokemon shiny forms. I think if I, my, if my memory serves me right, he's like an off balloon color. Like we can be red for all I know. <laughs> Definitely not red. If he's red, I'm walking out of this. I'm walking out of this house. He's red. <laughs> I'm really wrong. All these, all in my head, it's just. I 
Replay all of us throw back in a half. Yeah, whenever I was doing hard gold soul silver, I tried loading up a person say that had the uh, basically with the cute charm glitch or whatever to try to increase my odds. But whenever I lo tried to keep loading it, it just kept failing. So yeah, mine still ended up being the full one in eight thousand odds. Yeah, oh, that's a replay. I used to have only been. No, I, I definitely don't have mine anymore. I had a game shark, and I still have a game shark somewhere in my house. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure my action replay is all gone. I think I use game shark more than I used an action replay. For most games, I should say. Well, obviously, Pokemon was just action replay. But... Then you don't get the thrill of, you know, the, the, the grind of really trying for that, uh, Shiny. Be like, look, I did it at 1 in 8,000 odds. I didn't need no action replay. I didn't need no crutch. I am just that good. And all I have, I mean, I, I've, got, I've got something. I've got this guy. i got, I got, I got, I got this thing. I mean, he's something, right? He's, 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 he's there. He's the one. How do you do that, by the way? Oh. I already have this one promised. For the guy from last stream. But if I do get a shiny, I'll probably name it after you. Find it. And spell. Go ahead and just... Oh, wait, I also know which one's my red. You know, which one is my red tatted, not that. It's not harder to tell now. Her gold soul silver, you can see all three shinies at the same time. To know which one's the uh, shiny one. I don't think I don't think Diamond and Pearl. I think you have to hit the A and select who you want, and then you see if it's shiny. I don't think it shows in the preview like it did on Heart Gold Soul Silver. So Heart Gold Soul Silver is technically a little bit faster because you see three at once. It's really like one in like three thousand by the three is one in three thousand probably somewhere around there. We're we're only on a measly one in three hundred fifty odds. I mean, it's technically a little less than that, like one three hundred forty-seven point something is the actual odds. Do it, do it, Tata. I'm gonna throw the ball in your own guys. Means. It means we did get a shiny today, though. We did get a shiny because of this. Such a drastic color difference. I get why, but... Unless we got a guaranteed, uh... New shiny today, though. I will look at this thing. Can't do that in the. It's gonna move. I'm gonna catch him and then I'll do my end. Move. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the ball and you're gonna move. I already know it. We have. We 
now have two, two, two fabulous shades. Duke of Bellsboro, Pidgey, but at least you know what? Say we can say we we got a shiny today because of the Radicates. <laughs> the number has gone up every stream so far. <laughs> I feel I feel a little bit more uh, better if we actually get Bellsboro, Pidgey. Then we can take, you know, still like a triple amount of just evolution. Into the bills for hope. This uh, first way did, yes, uh, never. Um, Bellsprout, rainy day coming up this week too for Pokemon Go. Speaking of Bellsprout, here it is. Ironically, on 420. You know, everybody's like memeing because it's you know, Bellsprout's number 69 in the Pokedex. He's you know, number 69 on 420. So it's also a lead game. It's got like a double, double connotation or whatever you call it. Both have deep meanings. Not really. So many rats. There's far more birds and plants. Osha was here, we'd be shut down. Actually, OSHA or is that the health, is the health department? Might be health department. OSHA, I think, was more safety and regulations. I mean, I guess they would still probably react to rats. I, I feel like that would still be the correct call. I still think it's technically the health department that shuts you down. So I think OSHA has the power to shut you down. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't work in retail anymore. Restaurant jobs, we had the health department, Eco Sure, which was like your soaps and stuff like that, and OSHA. We had all three because we had machinery as well. So OSHA was overall of our machinery that would run to help us make the food or whatever, and then obviously health department checked your dates and blah blah blah, and then yeah, Eco Sure just literally kept up on your, your soaps. Sanitizers and whatever. Oh. Hundred and seventy rats. Oh, dang it. 
days, I remember B actually doesn't do anything. Who's that? We should maybe do like the bounce, bounce off the ground, and as long as it still kicks the Pokemon and we catch it. into the stream for hunting for Pidgeys and Bell Sprouts with a chain of highly hopefully non-contagious rats. I don't think I know. Anybody tested these ratatatas? Anybody, anybody know if they have like rabies or anything? No, I guess it goes to the professor anyway, so that's his problem. He's got to deal with it. Having a shiny rat make it more infected because it's you know less common. Why weren't you shiny? I gotta catch another rat. Ooh, nice! Gonna get some OLED. Nice, nice. OLED is awesome. I I love my OLED. I've had both. Um, I've had the original and the OLED. Um, obviously, the old one just a little bit bigger and does look a lot nicer. Um, seems to run a little bit smoother, obviously, too. I love them both. Don't get me wrong. I, I loved both. But yeah, I, I do really enjoy my OLED a lot. Um, are you? Is there any part of you that's like, oh, well, there's still the whole Switch 2 rumors going around that you might wait to make sure it doesn't come this fall like everybody keeps saying, even though it's been saying that for the past like three years? That it's eventually coming, it's supposedly coming, and now there's like the Nintendo whatever people that say it's gonna be like fall. Um But is there any part of you it's like well, maybe maybe I'll make sure there's not a switch to before I invest in because it says it's supposed to be like oh backwards compatible like the PlayStation era was. So I think it's been since the Wii right the Wii U was backwards compatible because you can play Wii games on it. The Wii U or Wii U was backwards compatible because you can play GameCube. GameCube wasn't backwards compatible. Obviously, Nintendo 64 wasn't backwards compatible. Switch isn't technically backwards compatible unless you count the eShop stuff as being backwards compatible. I don't know. Anyway! <laughs> uh, supposedly, if the Switch 2 is a, is a real thing, it's supposed to be announced at some point in fall. And there's been more reports this year than years in the past, but I, I always say take things with a grain of salt. Uh, but that's awesome that you're still thinking to get it. Either way, I still think getting a Switch is worth it. I still, even if Switch 2 were to come out and whatever, I still want an additional Switch. I want one to kind of, that's kind of how I did with the Wii era. Uh, I want one to kind of mess with, without saying other words. Uh, might be not so light, um, and then one that's like my true actual one I play on the Switch. But what, what games are you thinking about getting? I have Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart, Smash, Pokemon, uh, some Lego games, I don't even know what else I own. I think I have some of those like game show ones like your Jeopardy and Little Fortune 2 for whenever I have people over. Mario Party, of course. Gotta have your your family games, your one to switch and whatever stuff. But I'd like to know if you got what um, games you have in mind, if any at all. 
There's a pool up here and that type of stuff. Bacon gaming, I like that name. I'm going to be gaming, but with bacon! No one else games with bacon. It's probably just his last name, let's just be honest. Or maybe it's his first name. Dude, if your first name's Bacon, that's crispy. That's hot. That's sizzling. Um, there's other puns, I'm sure. I just can't think of them right now because my brain is not processing. Yeah, that's what they were saying too. It would get announced fall of 2025, but wouldn't release until the spring era of. Or no, yeah, get announced fall 2024 to be released in spring or summer of 2025. Uh, that's what apparently the the rumor mill is. They were trying to line well, I guess you could do like Easter for kind of like a holiday in a sense, but it's not really like worldwide. I was trying to think of like a worldwide holiday that's early in the year, but because like obviously Christmas time is always a good one to release stuff because your sales are going to be a little bit more advanced. That's why they always do like a lot of November releases because it's just around Christmas time and everybody's going to want to buy the hot new thing for their kid because, you know, it's the hot new thing for their kid. Um, on the ramps. I think summer would be probably the next best time because it's when everybody gets out of school pretty much, even no matter where you're from. It's technically summer for us is winter for others, so it's technically their uh, winter break around that time. That's why E3 used to always be like in the summertime, because it was their winter. Spawns for a second. Might as well. They could go a whole different Nintendo direction and do something that, you know, just another, like they've done with N64, GameCube, and stuff like that, where it's just a singular console that doesn't have backwards compatibility and just has an eShop again that lets you access old games. I still argue it's best to always continue with your backwards compatibility, but that's just me being me and hoping to have the best investment with a future system. Because like I said, I love my Wii that had the ability to still play my GameCube games without having to wait for the eShop to say, like, play a N64 game or something like that without just bringing out my N64 and looking it up. I like having it there without basically having to rebuy Mario 64 for the fifth time because, you know, I still want to play it on the console that I have. From Poland? Oh my gosh, that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's quite a distance from me. You know, I, I could ask my smart device, how far is that from here? Uh, but that sets off everybody's smart devices and people get mad about that. But, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously in the United States, um, kind of, I, I, I mean, I don't mind saying exactly where in the United States, but no one knows where the hell Indiana is when I say Indiana in the United States. So I would say kind of the uh, easternish side, northeastern. I mean, it's less, not that far northeastern. It's kind of in the middle of the United States. So everybody knows like New York and Texas and California and whatever, but you know, that's like us saying UK, but not really knowing like. Wales, for example, or something like something more specific in the United Kingdom. Everybody knows the countries. No one knows the provinces or the states or the 
landmarks or whatever. I mean, they might know, like, Statue of Liberty, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I'm talking on my butt. Okay, I'm just, I'm just here, I'm rocking, I'm rolling. Darn it. Not shiny. How dare you not be a shiny rat? See, see, see. That's why I always start every stream. I start with hope you all have a good have a good day, a good evening, or a good night, depending on where you are, because you never know where someone might be watching from. Or when they might be watching said content. Someone could watch this exact stream later tonight. Even though it aired in the morning for me. So I always start it out with saying evening, good night, whatever. Play all the three cards, that way everybody's kind of just getting hello. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. How the world can, you know, you just really think about it, you just really put your, try to put your head into it, like, how technology works like this. Two people from vastly different areas. It's 6 p.m. for you. It's just barely afternoon for me. It's 12.49, technically now, time of speaking the sentence. Uh... Yeah, kind of a six hour difference. Ah! Go away, bird! No, I don't want it! Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye. I need a rat to spawn down here. I don't want to run too far from this route. I've got a couple people I know from like Canada and. Um, trying to be farthest, really just the United Kingdom, I think is the farthest over that I know people from. Not like no know them, but you know, I've communicated with or done things with this United Kingdom. Um, but still, it's always cool. Why won't you shine? Beat up every dust from this, not shiny. Keeping the gaping mouths. Holy sh money. money, money, whatever equivalents are crazy sometimes. Because I know, like, some are very close, like, obviously, the Canadian dollar to the US dollar is, like, off by just a small bit. And then, yeah, you have, like, your Australian and, like, yours, for example, that are, like, 4,000, 10,000 per one USD. It's like, I can't, I can't fathom just how that works, I guess. Sometimes. Say you just you have I don't even know what to call it. It's not it's not dollar. Like obviously we say one dollar, you know, type of a deal. If you have I'm gonna, I'm gonna use your term, if you have just one, just one PLN, whatever. What was that doing for you? Nothing, right? I mean it's gotta be done. Doing having for us like our cheapest whatever is one penny, obviously. You're not gonna get anything with that. Like the cheapest you could physically get something around here. Nowadays, even back in the, you know, before you go too far back, you can still find your random like quarter machines here and there, the ones that are technically with 0 0.25 of a, of R1. But you're gonna get one tiny piece of candy out of that. That's, that, that's just weird. <laughs> oh, yeah, English English. Don't get me started on it. English English and American English. I hate it because you know some people see I, I love I have this right next to me, see this and they say oh you know like I mean I, they're obviously Cheetos but chips you know like for America that is chips but for the English people chips are are, are fries it, 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 I, I, it, it, it hurts. It hurts my head. It hurts my head trying to make sense how we technically both speak English, but they still have different meanings. I mean, you, you learn the English English. Oh gosh, oh, no. Like the back, the back of a car for us is a trunk, where it's like. 
Some people say a trunk is a chest. You know, something you keep stuff in. Um, I forget some of the other common ones. Um, a roundabout, I know, is a... For English English, a roundabout is a play... Something you go to the playground and ride on. For us, a roundabout is something you drive a car through. <laughs> The different, the different, whatever. Oh, uh, helter skelter. I think is a slide in a in an English English, whereas a helter skelter in American English is a terrible, you know. I think it's a song actually. Um, because if you say helter skelter, they think of the murder trials and all this other weird stuff. There's, there's so many weird English English versus American English that hurts my head. Trying to like figure out the difference, but it's fun. It's fun. It's fun to just see how similar, but yet how different everybody can be. And I'm not trying to do an English English accent. I'm not doing it. Fail miserably. I will talk with my slightly. Near Northern American accent. I don't know. I guess I could do a Southern accent, but I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Cookies versus biscuits. Oh my goodness. That's a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> All our cookies have to have different names too, don't they? Yeah. Uh, if, I, if I saw that emoji being sent to me. I would either say chocolate chip cookie or cookie. I, that would be the words that would come out of my mouth. But I do know because, you know, being just 1% educated, that there are different terms for different people, parts of the world. I think, I mean, even just talking America, I think there's, I mean, other than just your accents. Just differences in term age between your north and your south, too. Now, I'm having trouble thinking of one immediately off the top of my head. But I know south, for a group of people, you have a gathering of people around. They're going to be like, them y'alls over there, you know, are my friends. Like, it's, it's the y'alls, the Y apostrophe A-L-L. -L. It's the y'alls. It's down south. Or just say, like, oh, my friends are coming over. They'll be like, them y'alls are coming over later. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like I said. I just, I do what I think I do and try to be remotely educated on what's going on around the world. But then again, I still find myself learning. New thing is I hear my dog coming from right behind me. Hello, dog. You guys can't see him because he's below the camera, but he, he is there. I don't know if you can hear his footprints kind of pitter pattering around there. He's a mixed breed dog. But I know my, my daughters and stuff, they, uh, they watch some uh, British English YouTube channels and all that, so listening to that let me kind of learn some of the different things, um, how they're called, or whatever. I know there's a difference between what we call, uh, like, the, 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 the you, you guys, I think it's the bin, like, where you throw your waste away in. Um, or is ours is a trash can. I know there's actually a difference in the name between the, the person that comes and collects your trash 
your uh, your waste has a different name, I think, between regions as well. Yeah, so every time I say cookie, just correct it to biscuit. Just, just have, like, have one of those AI voices that works for, you know, different languages to where I'm saying, like, oh, I'm gonna go, you know, eat a cookie right now. I just, like, will phase over that word of cookie and say, um, biscuit instead. It'll, it'll just correct everybody to <laughs> go toward their language. <laughs> yes, you're true. You're true. You shouldn't be going through around. <laughs> you can just fly up in the air. A, a French fry is called ch chips in that in UK. I know that one's true. The rest might have been completely wrong. I'm trying to go off memory at the current moment, but I still appreciate it either way. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you go through a roundabout, you're just gonna fly in the air. You're just, you're, yeah. But if you go on a roundabout in the, uh, like I said, in other countries, it's, you're just going to the playground. You're just, you're having a fun time. You're, you're gonna get a little dizzy probably and all that, but yeah, you have to, it's, it's true. Yeah, yeah, see, I, I didn't know that one. Um, the chips are french fries. Like I said, there's, there's no like I said, the thing that collects waste in the UK has a different name. We call it a trash truck, but I'm pretty sure you, it has a different name in the UK. It's been a while since I've talked to some of like, my UK people. Oh, stop learning moves, you stupid pointless retas. So we're also almost to 200 rats. Rubbish. That's what it is. Rubbish. Yeah. Rubbish. I love that word. I love the word rubbish. No one's no one in the in America uses the word rubbish. I can almost guarantee you. I've never heard the word rubbish. I I mean I would know what it means. It's always fun learning stuff and talking about this stuff because it's just interesting. Just to, like I said, it's technically we're all speaking to where we can, you know, in a sense, know what we are saying. But there are some slight differences. Like I said, it even works that in just even the countries alone. Just different ways people talk based on whether the accents or just how they grew up learning certain things. Like, to some, the thing that, like my mom and me had this conversation, the thing you would use to, um, I'm trying to think how to word this to make sure I'm using the right term, but the thing she would use for washing your face would be like a washcloth. That would be, you know, what they would use, whereas others call it a towel. Let's catch more rats. Officially over 200 rats! No, he ran into me. He ran into me. Don't fight me, sir, rat. So don't get me started on what this is called in different... Even just America, what this is. What this 
this particular thing in my hand is. Is it soda? Is it pop? Is it coke? Is it fizzy drink? Is it a bubbly? Is it, oh my god, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, it'll, it'll, it'll hurt my brain. And then some just call it what it actually is, like the name of the brand. But people calling Mountain Dew, for example, Coke. They're not even similar in flavor. But you know what? How you grew up. The ones that are like, well, I forget where. It's, it's not the Dakotas, but where they call the your Dr. Peppers or Coke or Mountain Dews, they call them bubblies. Some bubblies and alcohol and drink. And to others, it's a healthy water. <laughs> it's really a, I think it's a brand that's called either bubbly or because they use Michael Boop, 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 Lay, or whatever the singer's name is. Uh, Sponsors. Don't get me started on soccer versus football. <laughs> football should be called um, like American football. We'll, we'll clarify which football I'm talking about right now. Should not be called what it's called. And this is coming from someone that played football for. Yes, you be one to randomly talk to me, I guess. Um, it should, I, I don't know what it should be called. Egg, egg, egg ball. It's cheap because it's cheap, kind of like an egg oval ball. Um, no, I'm just probably, there's probably a better name. Tackle ball. <laughs> uh, oh, you guys know Dr. Pepper? It's, just, it's basically, yeah, just a cherry, cherry flavored drink. I don't even want to say soda. So yeah, I, if you ask me what term I use for this, I say soda. I say it's a, it's a soda. Now, typically I'll just say the brand. Like, I'm having a Dr. Pepper right now. Um, I'm having an um, whatever. If I would just be saying the encompass of all bubbly type drinks, I don't know, carbonated drinks, I'd be saying soda. Basically, yeah, cherry. I mean, this one's a a flavored Dr. Pepper. It's cream soda flavored, so it's technically cream soda and cherry and a drink. Uppers. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come. Okay. Now, can we can we just all agree for like a few seconds? This is a dog, right? A dog. A dog, right? Or is it, is it a puppers? Is it just a good boy? <laughs> we will figure this out together. What the true names of everything is. And if we disagree, we have to come across a, a good mutual, mutual word. I call it potato chip. What is the English word for your Cheetos, your Lay's, your... What do you guys call it? Oh. Crisp, crisp, that's what it is, crisps. Um, just run away. Apparently, I cannot move my controller. It's probably a. I mean, crisp sounds better. It just sounds better. You know what? I just want your guys' word. Screw, screw trying to combine. I'm just trying to do, a, what is it, like Dragon Ball? Are we just. We're going to fuse all the names together and create new ones that we all disagree upon universally. It totally won't get complicated when we throw in the other languages. Oh, <laughs> get you mad enough if I just call my my dog dog? Like, hey dog, dog dog, come here dog, come here. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's definitely not just called dog. He, he, we call him Cooper. That is his uh, his name given to him by us. 
Coop or Cooper as the uh, two. He is a very old dog. He is uh, at minimum 14 years old, at most 17 years old. We don't know 100%. The vet, when he got rescued and everything like that, he found him, or he was found abandoned by my, my wife and all that. He was abandoned in the house, took him in, and the vet said he was possibly around the age of two. Um, so, and we've, she's had him since 2010. So, or maybe late 2009. So, by that math, he's at minimum, ultra minimum 14, but there's high thoughts that he's way along with. Oh, you have three cats? I also have three cats. They're all different breeds. Um, I don't know cat breeds as well as I know dog breeds. But they're like the short hair and long hair and whatever. <laughs> but my dog is a mixed breed. He's got uh, Pug, Jack Russell, Terrier, and Beagle in him. So his, his, uh, his mom or his ancestry definitely got a little bit around, just a little bit around. I also, even though he has a Polish name, I do want to know your dog's name. That would be awesome to know. I'll probably butcher it, just like I do any other name out there. But you know what? I still want to know. Yeah, my three cats, I've got uh, Franklin, Willow, and Benson. Those are my three cats' names. One's black, one's gray, and the other one's kind of like a goldish tan color. And they're all vastly different. lazy, one's loving, one is anti-social and never comes around. Except when she's maybe hungry or just wants attention for a few minutes. Oh, so many ghost sprouts. So little sparkles. Don't pet that, Evie. Waiting for a new spawn. I can't. Just remember. Good old rat. Take him to the backyard. Sorry, right, I can still press the A button from way from a distance. say from a distance it lost connection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love being proven wrong. It's funny. It's funny every time. That's a pity. Come on, there's so many of you. Come on. What's a haunting to I'm gonna get a shiny rat. Yeah, I think I did know that. I think you... Isn't it now where Google has it to where you can literally just speak what you want to say and then it'll talk back how it would be translated for any other like language or... Uh, I don't think it does accents, but I know it at least does languages. Should I just... Hang on. Excuse me, here we go. I was about to say, should I just talk in a southern accent from here on it? But then I was like, nah, it's too much, it's too much, it's too much. Now there's a lot of rats. 
I like the other reality. It was more of a thing that I was hunting for. resets for your shiny turd wig. I mean, do I be nice, or do I go with the answer that first came into my head? Uh, so if you truly are doing it in Diamond and Pearl, not BDSP, anything like that, if you're doing it in Diamond and Pearl, in your DS, my initial gut guess was 6,000... 100 something, 6,000, 100 and, what, 104? 6,104, sure, that sounds about right. I mean, we're saying 1 in 8,000 odds. So, I mean, it, it, even giving you 6,000 is technically under odds. My nice answer would be, like, within the next 100 resets, you got it, man. That's my, that's my, my, my big nice answer. I mean, it could happen. Don't get me wrong, it could happen. You've had your phone for two years and only one crack. That's actually pretty impressive. My phone is... What is it now? What, 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 what iPhone are we on? Or is about to come out? Or is out? Or whatever. It's at least probably six years old. I have the iPhone 10. I'll just say that. So however, however long ago that was, um, that's the phone I currently have, and I have no cracks on the front, but I have cracks on the back of my phone, for sure. But I do have a case and all that stuff now to kind of protect it from ever getting cracked again. <laughs> I just got it next encounter. I would poop my pants, literally, right here, on camera. I don't care. Sounds great. Sounds like a great time, actually, for all of us. Samsung Galaxy? Gotcha. I know a lot of people have the Samsung. I used to have, uh, back in the day, I used to have more Android-type phones. Because I didn't get iPhone until iPhone... iPhone 7, I think, was my first one. When I went to there, and I kept iPhone now to there, but I am or to where I'm at now with the iPhone 10. I am giving serious thoughts about going back to like an Android type or even I don't know how good Google Pixel and all that is, but I don't know, just something different than the iPhone I have given thoughts into, but it's kinda of hard once you get kinda of used to the one you have to go a different direction. But then again, like I just said, I technically did also have an Android like phone back in the day. And of course being the you know, totally young age I totally am. Um, you know, I had your blackberries and all that back in the day, so I could survive with Pressing the two button three times to get the letter C, I think I can uh, survive with any other type of phone. There's a good question. This is, this is a debate in America. This, what I'm holding in my hand. The very thing other than it's, I mean, it's a bear, obviously. We got, we got bear, right? We got, we got your, a teddy bear, maybe even. You know, I'll, I can accept that. But what Americans debate is, is this a plushie? You know, I don't know why it's called plushie, but whatever. Is it a plushie or is it a stuffed animal because it's based off an animal? I say stuffed animal because it's based off an animal, but so many people still call it plushies. Don't get it. Don't you? Shout out to Bill the Bear for that random bear. I think it's one of my daughter's birthday bears. Uh, 
Oh, PS4. I had a PS4 a couple years back ago. I think it's been four or five years ago. No, I, I sadly got rid of my PS4 because the majority of the games that I had on my PS4 were on my Switch. So I was just like, well, why do I really have the PS4 for really what was only two games that I had at the time? I still every now and then regret it because it was nicer looking, obviously, graphical-wise than the Switch was um, and stuff. Um, and the few games that I did have for my PS4 that weren't on my Switch were still fun to play. So every now and then I do regret it, but I still think I would be heavily playing my Switch over any other console any day because of how portable. Even with the new stuff where you can access your PS4 with your phone and stuff like that with the PS Play or whatever the app's called, um, I still think I would be heavily using the Switch. I think the only games that I owned back in the day that are still not out on Switch are uh, Star Wars Battlefront, the newer ones. Obviously, the old ones are coming to this. Are, are actually already out on the Switch. Uh, and well, you're like your Madden types or your Call of Duty types aren't on the Switch. Now, I'm not a big shooter person at all, and uh, the last Madden I played was Madden 18. So uh, again. Not very recently. About another hour before I need to wrap up stream to get my eldest daughter off the school bus. Hour to potentially find one of these two shinies, but you know what? The thing is, is we technically still have found a shiny today by the evolution thing, so. Uh, Ratatata evolving into Raticate technically did check off the shiny Pokemon, so it's like we did find one, even though it wasn't, you know, like this. It's there. These wraps. What's your guy's favorite animal? Let's do the, the, the random question of the day. It's always pretty to do that in the beginning. My favorite animal is the lion. I don't know why, I just like lions, okay? It looks cool. Okay, I also like giraffes and elephants and dolphins and stuff, and other animals. And, you know, your, your monkeys, your gibbon and stuff. Or is the better question, what animal do I detest? Because I, I just don't know. I'm not a big fan of bees, for whatever reason. I just have a fear of bees, even though I've never had any bad interaction with a bee. I just I don't know. Think about them, man. Maybe it's the loud buzzing sound. I don't know. Because I know people that are deathly allergic to bees. So I'm like, what if I am deathly allergic to bees and I just don't know? Because I've never been stung. So I'm scared of that reality that I don't even know could be reality because it's not like my mom, dad, brother, or sisters were allergic to bees. Someone right now is going to be like, I like the koala! Which, I mean, koala, cool, you know, very cute. But there's always that one random animal that someone likes. I like armadillos! That was my uh, father-in-law's favorite animal, an armadillo. Always an unexpected answer. Just like asking who's your favorite Pokemon. You know, some people got your Charizard or Mewtwo, and then there's that one random guy that likes Wormadam. I see you. I know what you like. I remember when we, I mean, it's been before Gen 9 came out, but I was ranking all my favorite Pokemon. I'm like, I don't even know what my least favorite Pokemon is. It's not like I hate any of them or dislike any of them. We technically figured it out. What was it? It wasn't Fructus. Was it Wolven Persian? I don't know. There was a couple of them that were down there, but it's like, even that, I still don't dislike them. They have good uses, they have things I like about them. So I literally just call them all S tier. <laughs> You want to know my favorite Pokemon Star Wars 
I know, basic Gen 1 guy, oh god, he's, he's one of those guys, yes, I'm one of those guys, okay, I am one of those guys. And if you're like, well, which Charizard, because there's like, you know, Charizard the X and Y and the original and the, I like shiny Charizard Y, there, there there's your spare specific answer. <laughs> Give me, give me one of those on a platter, please. That would be my favorite Pokemon. If we're going specific, we gotta go ultra specific, right? I knew some people that like Polyrath and File Flume, and my wife's favorite's Eevee. Currently, my Two daughters only know a handful of Pokemon, so can they really pick? I don't know, but my eldest really loves Swalot. Only because of Pokemon Go, and that's all. Because he makes her laugh when he does this big open mouth animation. How many people do you know that like Swalot? Not that many. There's probably at least, probably 700 Pokemon she hasn't seen. Shoots. and see my ball doesn't fail. But you know, still. <laughs> That's right. Remember what I told you earlier? Remember I told you I didn't get to do some violent things to you if you didn't appear yellow? If you didn't tell your cousins to come on over and hang out? That's what I thought you better run. Not enough birds and plants. Yeah, that has been one of the 
thousand chance. Meanwhile, I'm over here with like one three hundred fifty chance to find a shiny. But you know what? We're still struggling together. Even though I have technically two shinies, and I don't know how many he has, you know, over the past week. But you know, we're still struggling together. Those parts are a little bit more obvious. Pidgey, not so much. Ah! No! Do you see that thing down over? Is it over there? No. Uh, is it over that way? Uh, it's kind of, kind of similar to coloring to the uh, actual Pidgey. Give me something with some sparkles, please. It still shows the uh, throw animation. Don't, don't you think I would know by now? See how many rats I've caught? Those are right there. Wait a couple seconds here. Transfer to the professor. Rats. The bird and the plant. Thank you. I mean, you weren't the right color, but at 
least yet. It, it, technically, that's something new. Come on, bus ride rounds. Yeah, a little time there. Been a while since I've made a bridge. Go. Silly wreck. People just have me on this background noise. I always love doing that. Having random live streams on. Just as background noise is something that's kind of just on the TV. So that way you just don't feel like there's nothing, you know, technically going on in your house. Just that way there's a sound. Something. I used to always do that. Well, it be, you know, people sharing their game, playing a video game. Whatever. It might be. And as soon as something hype happens, you're like, oh gosh! Gotta watch! Gotta see! Gotta know! I rewind it 10 seconds and watch it. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely guilty of having things on as background noise. Definitely want to do like dishes or laundry and stuff. I have no offense to that. Um, like I said, ultimately. Whether you guys were here or not, and I know this is gonna sound maybe rude initially, ah! I'd still be doing this either way. Because, because of that, I love playing video games. I love playing games like this and stuff like that. And my thought was, I'd go live with it. And if other people join me, you know what? Even if it's something that just gets them out of their day to day lives, maybe makes them get a laugh, maybe makes their day a little bit better, or something for them to have for themselves to do. Me possibly being able to be out there to help somebody else more than myself sounds good to me. So that's ultimately why I started doing the whole YouTube thing. Whether I did the YouTube or not, either way I'd be doing this exact same thing. <laughs> now, of course, there are some things I add a little bit of a twist to it, a little bit fun too, like my randomizer does locks and stuff like that. That, you know, it's like, yeah, it's for me ultimately to have some fun, but also, you know, that's the people who want to watch it too because like, oh, they want to see the, the chaos or see how this dude is whatever does its weird voices or deals with this stuff. So it's, it's, it's a win-win for both worlds. But yeah, if I can help one person's day just be a little bit better, you know, whatever it may be, no matter how small, no, I'll count that as a major W. And of course I want to grow. Of course I want to, you know, still be something of a content creator in a sense, but ultimately, even though I were to stay exactly where I'm at right now, I'll still be okay because exactly. I'm still enjoying what I'm doing. Nice nice. Hope we can still help somebody else out too. Yep, what the pointless rat learning a pointless move! So I'm gonna go to the professor. Good. 
great throw. Thank you, thank you, Gabe. Thank you for complimenting. So in case you didn't know, I'm ambidextrous. So I can throw with both hands! The almighty power of my left hand. What my right my right hand is found Chinese. My left hand hasn't. It's time. The left hand is due for a shiny. And it's right there. I don't know if it's cool. But it's definitely the next one. Right after this one, I promise. The next Pokemon to spawn is gonna have those sparkles, and my left hand's gonna catch it. We're all gonna witness it. It's gonna be great to me. It's an out of experience. Yes, 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 yes. Get the information. Tata, and then I will go let him in. He's finally enjoyed his day of sunbathing. Like I said, it's low. I think it's actually now above 80 degrees. Well, maybe it's still in the 70s. I don't know. I could have asked my smart device, but you know, who you knows? A little bit higher without me in. I'm not going to press the A button this time. Seeing your loves. He's not answering any of my pounding. He's not in like any of my questions. He's just ignoring me. I don't even know if you guys heard any of my questions that I was asking him. I asked if he had a good time and if he saw any curl dogs and other stuff, even though he's, uh, you know. Neutered, whatever puts it up. No. She'll be wrecked. Thank you. 
so many reds right now. any sense. Excellent. Come to me. I wield the power. To set them free. It's a really quick matter. I get out of this battle. I need to check something. Just thought about it. Right now. I'm a smart person. Real, I was just kind of researching that. I will have to kind of watch my. That's what really was my money, is the candies. I can't say something. I need Texas for Tata for science purposes. Because if it gives me just XL candies instead, then it's fine. But. If it's still giving me the quicks and all that, then I'm technically losing. Give me nothing.
don't match the diva. So yes. Giving me still like large and stuff. Which I can't collect anymore. Right. That was the one that like that and then yeah, okay. So therefore I'm doubly losing. Now so the best strategy is to So I have to kinda I'm gonna see if I can figure that out. I was like constantly checking I guess I need to figure out what the math reason is because what the 24 I figured out was the most candies I get at any point. So every 10 is 240. So every 40 I don't want to be well, I want to buy. Basically not gaining money. We're gonna need it. So many different tata candies. I guess I can just go ahead and use the I think I would still have to be next up like yeah, I'm not having guy who's in the best, that's what better. Makes it, I mean, even though it'll be over level, it's still more of a challenge than having all those IVs. Or or whatever the heck it does. Even 10 for once. Ow! Sir, this is a very long dramatic exit. Say probably around where I'm like 300 frittatas. Check my candy count and see if that's how this indeed works. Two reds at the same time. I do get to the 300. Nice. 
that's sure on the next album. I'm going to just need to do a different map. Run those things. Run far away from all these rats. Like one of these is going to touch me. Going through a bunch of evolution scenes. So I might actually check my bag really quick. We're in my game jar. I'm already not too plundered. But I mean, I'm also about to do this, which is probably going to be more games. That one's ours. This now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is sent to him now.
30 minutes, almost. After a shiny Pidgey or Bell Sprout, or three minutes. Whatever happens first.
Here right after this encounter, I'll give you this cheetah. This love it, it's got cheese on it. Cheese. Let's mm. see how this works. You know what? I'll even get to get birds with cheese, right? So, you know, next shiny dope here. Right after this encounter, we'll get this shiny cheetah. Sunlight. Is that something fancy? Just start just, you know, talking like I, they think, or I think they want to hear things. Ah! Watch. And I'm just attracting more rats. I don't want to attract the rats, I want to attract the birds and the plants. Bell Sprout, I have some natural light for you. Bell Sprout, I've got a uh, hose outside. Bell sprout, I've got some flower with flower can get some other plants. I don't know. Okay, let's just start talking to the partner. Um is it like I was say I was gonna say bread but we figured out like bread's not technically the healthiest for birds. Oh uh Pidgey, I've got some bird seed for you. I got some tasty bird seed. Hey, maybe I'll give you a bird house, man. I'll make you the whole crib. All you have to do is just show up. That's all you gotta do. I'm not asking for much. You got what you want. Can you give me what I want? Alright. Why don't I trick the bow sprout? Like, just forget. No. What are you talking about? Why are we talking about bird stuff and trick the bow sprout? Why did me talking about cheese attract the Pidgey? Why did me talking about plant light attract the Rattata? Hmm. There's something there. For you guys in the chat right now. What are you gonna do in possibly 22 minutes? Like I said, I'm picking up my dog. You gotta set the end that stream at that point. What are you guys gonna do? Make some lunch. Go to bed. saying you're going to catch up on and forget. Yeah, I'm calling you out. I know what you haven't done. Remember those five pages of homework that we're doing next Friday? Okay, we're get started on that.
Don't you have a math quiz next Wednesday? I don't know, study. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep naming random stuff. It's gonna relate to somebody. Hey, <laughs> go with more, more easy picks. You gonna brush your teeth tonight? You gonna make sure to brush your teeth? You gotta do that twice a day. You gotta do it. Should go more uh, I don't know. It's not that anyone to do that much. It's something everybody's got to do. Other than that, you know, there's not in my life sleeps. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Some people in Sevy don't get that luxury as easily. Gonna eat that food. I'm gonna drink that drink. You're going to breathe air. <laughs> I guess even then, maybe you can go like an oxygen tank, which I guess it's still air, it's still oxygen. I should have just said oxygen that covered for all the bases. Joke. Well, I am a nuts in the gym machine. That's not a joy. Oh, I Give me you. We don't catch him. Opposite cast the lights. Give me, give me a shiny bird or plant. Because I'll feel a little bit better. Candy check here in a second just to make sure I'm doing my math correctly. It's, it's not gonna obviously put the transfers off to make it a little bit. Let's see. Let's see if I'm doing my maths. Move the pole. Yeah, 800. I, I was, because I was saying it was about 290, I think, would have been maxed. So. I can do my maps. I can do my maps. Ten. Try to use all these minutes as best we can. really quick. Ah! Ah! Touch me. I 
any of the ones in it. Yeah, I think it's pretty dang rare. Uh, the Rattatas I have caught or and or seen at uh, Pokerefs. Stupidly close to 300. That's how everything's looking right now with time and stuff like that. Unless I get a pitchy with that spell. Just happens to maybe, you know, make a special appearance. Transfer soon. Transfer soon. Uh, higher levels.
Six Matadas, nine minutes. Just to right at 300. It's a great base of the 10 will be 10 times over the original catch combo when you get it. and the plants. Be more. Be more to the luxury of this So one of the number three hundred. That's Trying to put your best friend right for three hundred. Right to get a little closer. Don't like that. wasn't going to move. Move. Yes, he did. And now that a train, he moves. Donculus. Three hundred rats. Three 
100 teams right now. Yeah, that's so where it's at. It gets a little closer. Go for the 301 and probably start wrapping it up. They broke the 300 plane. Make sure there's no magical shiny stuff here now. Today, with the fact that we had the evolution of um, Rattletail into Raticate, so I guess technically the numbers still went went up. Um, it's not like the number didn't go up today. The true question is, will Wednesday show any difference? So we'll be live again on Wednesday. Plan is probably do that whole day if I can. Now that I have things working this time, do the whole day of shiny hunting as long as I have everything else housewise caught up and all that great stuff. But pretty much from I'll probably start around 9 a.m. and go until about 2. Um, I'll just shiny hunting and see if we can get that number to go up by at least one more. Um, obviously, it took only two to get onto the next route, but you know it's all good. At least we got this guy, but you know. Same thing to the Professor Cubes. Go ahead and get everything cleared out. All that before we have to wrap up. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. It's been a great pleasure to have you all with me and talking with me and everything like that. It's been awesome. Make sure you did smash that like button and subscribe because it really does help out the video and everything like that. Like I said, even though I kept saying about like, oh, the subscriber count and all that doesn't maybe matter, you subscribing may let someone else that isn't subscribed out there in the world that will then subscribe and then see the videos and maybe help them out. And maybe it was if you were one of those that, you know, got help from this video just having it as, you know, background noise or whatever it was, you know, maybe even help you 5% or something. That could be the same for someone else, just by you subscribing and post it out there into their feeds and everything like that. So, just fix it. Everything helps in the long run. Alrighty, go ahead and do one more save, and I'll wait, just, you know, oops, I have to actually save. Playing a little five hours before five minutes, should be about right-ish. Make sure no magical spawns, wait a couple more seconds, just to make sure. Nothing maybe, just miraculously spawns. Same with three guys. You guys just gonna hang out with me the whole time? Alright, well, I'll see you guys all in the next stream video, whatever it may be. This is pretty much gonna be the modern gamer. So, yeah, let's see away from this video. Ka-ka, guys. Ka-ka.